guys, this is Ajit from Studio Studio and today we're going to learn how to mirror animations in Unreal Engine. Everything you need is provided in the description, the example project as well as the specific node used for mirroring animation. It's all on GitHub. We have an animation from the anim starter kit on the character on the right. The character on the left is going to mirror that animation. So the character on the left is currently, currently just in its default pose and all animations are controlled within the anim class so I'm going to edit that. I already have it set up and ready and I'm just going to tell you how it works. So when the game starts, when the blueprint runs, we want to set up the mirror data and this has to be done only once. So all the options for this character's mirroring are stored within a class called the mirror data class and in order to make an instance of that you have to use the construct mode so this is how you find the construct mode just right click and type construct object from class and select animation mirror data and the outer object will be self that is the anim class or the anim instance itself now for the manual bastion skeleton the pelvis is mirrored along the x-axis for both the rotations as well as translation. So, when you, if an animation is causing the pelvis to translate along the x-axis, we have to invert it along the negative x-axis. So that's what the right axis signifies. The right axis is the mirroring for translation and the mirror axis rotation is the mirroring for rotations of the bone. Now, mirror axis rotation uh, that node signifies the mirror axis of all the unpaired bones that is like the root or the spine or the neck and the head so for our mannequin it is the Z axis and even uh, it's that is its defaults have also been provided in another separate project which I'll, lift, which I'll list in the description now the pairs for the bones and the correct mirror axis of the individual pairs of bones that is for the hands and the legs and the fingers and everything have all been done and they've been set up and you can take a look at them and that node called the set mirror map data is what is used for initiating this all of this gets stored in our animation mirror data and this is passed to the mirror node which uses this data to mirror the animations on the skeleton in real time. So the mirroring is done in the anim graph. So let's take a look at that. So the name of the node is anim node mirror and it takes the mirror data as input. We got a very basic setup here for testing. Let's open up the level blueprint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a reference to this character and when I press M, it's going to mirror the animations for this character. Female So let's get the stealthy mesh component and the anime instance from there. I'm going to cast it. And whenever we press M, it's going to mirror. We're going to play the animation as a dynamic montage or the default slot. So I'm just going to get a reference to the animation. I'm going to enter it there. And the default slot is the slot where we're going to play the montage over. I'll also be showing you how to export these animations. I just want to want it to loop once, and we don't want it to have any sort of blending out. So when I press M, it mirrors the animation once. 
so you can see it's the exact mirror of the animation which is being played on the right. So let's open up the sequence recorder from the window menu and this is how we record the actual mirror animation. I'm going to add a reference to our character which is going to play the animation. It's going to set up the location where it's going to save the sequence. And let's start recording. So once it starts recording, Person, and that's it, it's done, it's recorded the mirror animation. Let's stop and let's go take a look at it. I think I made a small mistake within this video but you could avoid this. I, I think I added a small amount of blend time within the anim instance itself, within the bool which selects either the mirror animation or the non-mirror animation. So. I think we might have a small problem down the line, but you shouldn't be having this problem if you disable all, that is if you make the blending time zero. So this is how you get a reference to the mirror animation. Once you open up the sequence, right click on the animation and find its location on the properties. So you can use the magnifying tool to find the location of the mirror animation. Let's take a look at how it looks. So it recorded for I think a little extra time so what we do is we can scrub to the location where the animation starts at. Right click over the timeline and remove the frames prior to this location. And also we will go to the end, scrub to the end of the animation and right click and remove the frames which are after the animation. So we can tweak it and then finally we can get the exact mirror animation save it and you can also export it as an FPX and open it in external programs as well. So it looks pretty good and this is what I'm talking about this blend in. I think I forgot to make the blend time zero within the anim graph. Because we can't have this animation loop if, if it has that blend in. So when you're recording your animations, make sure you disable the blend time and make it as zero seconds. And you can sort of tweak the location and remove the unneeded frames and finally you will get the actual animation. Which is the only the mirrored portion. You can also zoom in on the timeline by scrolling in and out. And you can right click to drag. So I'm just going to remove that one frame. But you shouldn't have this issue because you're going to disable the blend time altogether. So you get an animation which loops correctly. This node works with all skeletons and uh, all it needs you to do is find out the actual mirroring axis of the bone and as long as you got that correct you can get all your animations mirrored and you can use the sequence recorder later to export these animations Take a look at it.
thank you for watching this video if you did find it useful please like and subscribe